So I have this Matronix robot here. This is Dolphin Nautilus. It's a pretty popular model. Um, what I'm going to do here is do an additional rebuild. You'll find that if you have a lot of leaves in your pool and you let the, the thing run, it'll suck it up into other areas. And you can usually tell here because they'll start coming out. Leaves will start coming out of this area. You can see another one here. Uh, that means we need to take these covers off and clean it out a little bit better. And I, I also need to replace these pads here. You can see I have two of them missing. I think a squirrel or something ate my other ones, but um, I need to replace all these, so I need to take the brushes off as well. I'm going to start with these covers here. So the belt is going to go on here, so it's a little bit hard to pull off. You need to move it down a little bit. There we go. So the belt goes on on there kind of like this and uh, you can see this little thing here this is kind of the key to uh, to turn this thing it's important to set this thing aside as well it just goes in those grooves now we also need to take this thing off finish cleaning the leaves out of here. Um, usually when it's really bad this entire area will be full of leaves. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this belt off because I need to flip it over. Want to make sure your bearings are still good clean any dirt off of these as well. Set those aside. There's a little bit of dirt on one of mine. No big deal. Okay, that's clean. And then make sure you get any gunk on these rubber connectors here as well. That looks fine. We just need to do the other side now. Same deal. This side's pretty much the same as the other one, except um, this connection is a little bit different. It doesn't have that key as on the other side, so just be aware of that and make sure you put it on the right way again. But same deal. Pull this stuff off. Pull that off. Set it aside. There we go. And now at this point, you'll notice that the entire top will start coming off, so just be aware of that and uh, don't let it fall. Now this entire thing should lift off here. We're not gonna put that too far off. We're gonna leave it on the, the wire like that. Just wanna get it off there a little bit. And just inspect to see if there's any damage to the motor, the propeller, anything. And we're actually looking pretty good. You can see there's dirt down in here as well uh, that you'll want to clean out. But that's the entire cleaning portion. Essentially, you just take that stuff off and uh, clean it out and put it back together. And I'll show you that in a minute. I need to go an extra step and actually remove these brushes so that I can um, replace these pads here as well. So I just need to take the brushes off now so that I can replace these climbing pads or whatever they call them. Uh, you can see mine are very squishy, the new ones, and the ones that are currently on here are actually pretty hard. So they do tend to harden over time. The way you remove these brushes are you just pull them out. Like that. They just kind of pop out. And then also on the bottom. There we go. Be careful that you don't drop it. And there we go, the brushes are off. Pretty easy. Uh, be very careful of the styrofoam that you don't damage it because it's just very loose, it, it'll tend to fall out. So I've got my brushes here now. Um, once again, just make sure that the bearings are working properly. And mine seem to be working pretty fine. 
Now, I could replace the entire brush here. Uh, that is an option. In order to do that, I would basically just remove this pin here. It's it's the locking pin for the rubber part, and it basically would just fold that off. Uh, but I actually don't need to replace my blue brushes, I just need to replace these pads. Um, now, the ones I currently have on here are very hard, so I don't think I'm going to be able to just stretch them off. The squirrels have done a, a nice job in removing the first two for me, but I'm actually going to need a razor blade to remove the back two. You can see how, how hard these are. I mean, they're definitely not very uh, movable anymore. So be very careful when you're cutting that so that you don't cut any rubber part. We'll do the same thing for the other side. Okay, so there we go. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and wet this down so that uh, I can get all the gunk and stuff off that's currently on here. And uh, then I'm going to install the, the new ones. Okay, so I just have them wetted a little bit. And I have my new pads here. As you can see, they're a lot stretchier than, uh, than the previous ones. So we should be able to just kind of maneuver them over like this. All right, so I've got uh, my pads installed on all of them, and I'm just making sure that none of these brushes here are caught underneath on either end. It seems like we are good to go. So the next thing we need to do is put everything back together. Obviously, it's a little bit more difficult than taking it apart. Uh, I remember from the last time I did it that the belts are particularly uh, annoying to do, so I'll show you that. So in order to put this back together, this lip here needs to go on the inside of this right here. So essentially, it'll go just like that. And then the same thing for the other side. And there we go. That's back together. Pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the... Uh, top here. When you put it back together, obviously make sure that the shell is back in the in the grooves along here where it should be. And then we're going to go ahead and flip this on the side. And the first side we're going to do is the non-key part. So this end does not have the key. Uh, where the roller is, and it also doesn't have the uh, the little wheel down here. So the way you reinstall this is basically the opposite of uh, uninstallation. So first thing we need to do is put put this little leaf in there. So we just need to put the uh, middle bearing there. Hex goes on top here, and then these smaller bearings here are keyed. You can see these grooves here. They need to go back on there like that. Okay, there we go. Now, the biggest pain in the butt with this whole process is getting this belt back on. Because it needs to run... across here like this. And then it's gonna go, it's gonna kind of go like this, like that. I need to stretch this part over the top of this bearing here, and then it'll go, it'll route underneath like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch it. I think this side is a little bit easier than the other side. Okay, now we just need to stretch this part under the other bearing while simultaneously making sure this bearing stays seated here, like that. And everything moves the way it should, so that's good. Now this is going to want to pop out of there. Um, 
You see what I mean? So sometimes it'll be really difficult to keep it in without uh, putting the cover on. Um, make sure you get it in these tabs here first. And then tilt down. Next thing you want to do is make sure the cover is seated properly. The top cover and press it into these connection points. And I guess that's it. Yeah. And then basically you're just gonna put push these tabs along here down as well to seat it fully. And there we go. So that isn't gonna move anymore. Now we need to reinstall the top cover here. The trickiest part about this is getting this lid back on while seating this bearing portion here because this part right here needs to go on the outside of this bearing right here so that this is held steady and the wheel moves. So what we need to do here is get our screwdriver here and essentially what I'm doing is I'm pushing on this so that it flattens, flattens it out like that, and then simultaneously putting the cover on. It's, yeah, it's kind of annoying to do, but uh, that's what we got, so. There we go. You want to make sure everything's nice and free spitting. And it seems like our connection is good. This bearing right here I actually had backwards. This needs to go the other way around, like this. So the hexagonal part needs to go down towards the styrofoam. Uh, and this part gets seated into the, uh, the cover here. Actually, it probably doesn't matter for this side, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this anyway. There we go. And then same deal. We're going to go ahead and put this back on. Same way as before. So once again, see now it fits a little bit better actually. Uh, I think it does need to be hexagonal side towards the motor because it this cover fits a lot better now. So when I'm when I'm using my screwdriver, I'm pressing against here. Uh, so be careful not to damage it, push too hard, but just just light pressure to uh, make sure it fits into that groove on the on the wall there, or on this panel here. So that's the one side. Now we gotta do the other one. Flip it over to the other side. And once again, make sure that the lid here is seated in the in the white edges here. Now, first thing we need to do here is uh, reinstall this key here. So that's how we're doing that side. And as you can see, it, it tends to want to wander off there again, so make sure you put pressure down on it. Uh, next thing we're going to do is put the black part on. Now we need to put these, uh, this little, little wheel here back in there. Make sure you remember there's uh, some washers there. Don't forget those. And now, same deal, we're just going to push this on. 
can take our screwdriver and just kind of push it forward so that it we make sure that it seats within that uh, there we go that groove there and then last but not least we just need to get these screws up top here So yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's it. Brushes replaced, and the entire thing's been cleaned out. <laughs>